Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. I saw somebody that had uh, microgreens going on. That was Tranco Geo. And it's broccoli. So I'm going to get that going here pretty soon. I can't find the broccoli, but I did find some other things. And I got two packages of corn right here. But what is that? I'm blinded by the light. So the lettuce, the chia are coming up fast. The pea cauliflower, or the, the peas and the radish, the sunflowers are making a second go around because I clipped most of them down. I mowed the lawn the other day. That's coming back. I harvested that head of lettuce. And that is coming back pretty fast. So I have three new hidden harvest lights in. So I believe that's the one I put in. I moved a bunch of lights out. I took three out. This is a hidden harvest here in the middle. As you can see the hidden harvest grow light sticker on the top. So they have probably six, eight times more light. These are only 14 watts. They're a little purple. They're the cheap ones I got from eBay because I started the garden before I had good lights. Time to check out the... Whoa. I think the peas of meat reached the ceiling, close to reaching the ceiling there. The other lids are a lot taller. I think they're five to six inches tall. And they're like $20 for the lid alone. So they're going to wait a little bit. I think that looks pretty awesome. Maybe I'll get them up higher where they have better light. So eventually we're going to have two hidden harvest lights instead of one on there. But the one did go over here. And uh, I took out the purple light. Yeah, this one's hidden harvest now. That was a purple light in there. And I didn't like it. Plus the fan was blowing. It was just using up so much electricity for no reason at all. But um, so now I got a better light here. I want to hook up a, a second one here. But yeah, I got three hidden harvest lights in. So I'm getting rid of three of the old ones. My son needs them. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm getting ready for, I got to find the broccoli seeds. And I want to get that going today. And I want to get some of the corn. I'll probably put some of these and some of those together. These are, that corn is golden bantam and that is candy corn hybrid. Get those going because over here these are, that's probably four and a half, five foot right here. That's a cheap ass. But um, I have two hidden harvests up there. Eventually there'll be three. And eventually I'll probably get some some five gallon buckets up there and the books could take that two by four up to the ceiling and that'll be ready for the corn and the next the next tomato now this one run of tomato is right there that's it so this this branch here could be easily clipped thrown in the cloner and it'll have roots in a couple days look <gasps> I ain't doing nothing with that. It's got a flower coming up on another one. So I just noticed two more flowers on that pepper back there. The green pepper is now turning yellow. These climbed. These are like a month late, later than them. They stalled out. These are just going fast. But yeah, just thought I'd give it a little update. And it looks like I got to do some watering back there in the corner. I got kale turning yellow. Looks like that uh, red lettuce seeded. Got to get a fan on that. Fan over here on tomato and the flowering tomato and the flowering pepper. All right. Happy New Year to all of those who are out here growing greens in the indoor garden. <laughs>
Happy New Year! So today I'm going to have a New Year salad right out of the garden. Alright, have fun and have a nice sunny day.